Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? I am just bringing all of the water down over here. We've got the water still running in there. I'm not sure that's necessarily a great idea. So let me just stop that one there a minute. And I've got the buckets of water ready to start rinsing out the mats. If I go and switch the water off up here a minute, we shouldn't have any issues with... Actually, I'm just going to undo that one. I did leave it running before. Um, and yes, the water is actually running, but it's... If I switch that one off there, it should stop the water altogether. Um, even though the, the water pumps are off, they sort of they default off when you're not actually here. So I'm going to bring out these two small buckets. You can't tip one bucket into another, which a little bit annoying. I would prefer it if we could, but um, I mean, it's, it's only a minor, minor detail, so we don't really need to worry about it. I'm hoping that I can actually do this mostly from the back of the pickup. If I bring a couple of buckets out to the front like this... We'll bring three of them out, and then we're going to see if we can actually wash these mats off today. And I'll lift that one up, and I'll bring that down. Just place it there so that it's ready. And we want to get the uh, get the mats. I want to, if I can climb out. This is one thing, yeah, I've, I've said this before, but it does frustrate that you can't actually... Let's try lifting that. Um, if I got the mat, where is where's the mat gone? Oh dear. Uh, I've lost one mat already. It's it's kind of gotten stuck somehow. Is it is it there? Is it underneath? I, I'm, I sh ah, there it is. It's stuck right in the middle. Hopefully I can get this one down. I've kicked some buckets over, but um, I'm not worried about those. I'm going to grab that. There we go. Right, I've got it. It's safe. We do have it. So let's just bring this one down here and see what we can do with rinsing these off. Right, it won't let me rinse it again, but it might actually allow me to rinse the the next mat in this same one. Let me grab that one and put it back on there. And then I want to detach that one and bring that over here. So we'll try and rinse that again in the same bucket. Okay, so we're going to be using three buckets to do this. We're going to do two mats in each bucket. Let's put that one back on there. I'll take that one off and I'll put it down there. Take the next mat run over here and i'll put that one in there so yeah two mats in each bucket should in theory give us quite a good amount of gold and people have told me different i've had different figures quoted as to how much we're going to end up getting from this some people are saying like 80 odd ounces and others are saying well it's not quite that much so we will see i'm quite interested to find out this is this is going to be actually quite this is going to be one of the more exciting washes i think of gold that we've done so let's just bring that mat over and drop you back in there and then we take the grill and we move that one down one and we grab that mat and jump over here how are we doing Ooh, nope 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 careful let me use okay that's going a wee bit crazy over there and i've just rinsed one of them out probably not a good idea to sit them on the tailgate of the pick up then because um it seems to bug it a little bit i'm just going to drop that one down there we know that one's still full that one there if i if i move it in a bit we drop it there we know it's the ones in the very back of the pickup so these ones at the front if i move them right up those have just got water in and we've got two down here that have got gold in as well so i want to drop that one in there Actually, maybe i should leave the water buckets down here we don't want buckets of water there's, there's no advantage to having buckets of um clean water that's not going to do anything for us we're going to be using some empty buckets a little bit later on and we can sort of deal with that later that one there is another full one Let's drop you in there this one here is another full one i still need to do a rinse in that one so we've got clean water there i put that one over with those and then that bucket there is clean water drop that one down there so then I get this mat over here and I rinse that one in there. So we've got some tailings in here. Now we've got a few more tailings in there. And that is, that's everything washed. That's everything rinsed out. So we can put those back and I'll go and get that grill. We put that one back on the top as well. And then we've got to go up and we've got to get the other stuff set up. So we need to get the, well, it's the magnetite separator that we're going to run first. I don't know how much magnetite we'll get out of this, but we've also got that little test that we need to run with magnetite separator anyway. So all of the mats are saying 0% now. Bring that back and dump you in. Nope, that's not worked very well. 
chuck it like that. So that that's how you throw them. You just run and then let go while you're still running. And it actually works really well. It's a, a really good way of doing it. So just chuck it like that. Put that back up. Okay, that's holding. And we jump back in here. Right. We want to test the magnetite trailer because we've put dirt in the magnetite trailer. We didn't put anything else in there. And it wouldn't let us empty it out. It's, there, it's saying 30%, but it's not letting us tip anything out at the magnetite factory. So we want a small quantity of magnetite. Let me just back that one up a little bit. I want to go about there, I think. We want a small quantity of magnetite that we want to put into the trailer. It's all the way over there. It's miles away at the moment. We'll, we'll ignore it for a minute. Um, what we do need to do is we want to put that one in on there like that. And... So what's this one? Uh, is there anything in that? That's saying... Oh no, there's there's nothing in that one at all. That one's empty and so is that one. So we want two empty buckets put in underneath and then I want this hose pipe here which I'll connect onto this side. They're good to go. So where is this lead running over to? That's running onto this generator. We've only got that... We've, we've got the generator just running on this. I'm going to undo... Actually, no, the other end's undone already so we can... We can start this one. Start you up. Now, I don't think that's actually... Oh, it is working. Even though the generator down here isn't turned on yet, we do need to go and switch this one on. Um, and it's only on 8% fuel. So I need to grab a bit of fuel and fill that one up a moment. I think I stopped filling... Fu yeah, I've run out of fuel, haven't I? Let me run over to the fuel trailer, which is all the way over there. And I'll grab another can of fuel and I'll bring that one back. And then we can get going with... Um, our magnetite separator. I am a little curious about where our other fuel can went catapulting off to and if we're ever going to see it again. Um, it kind of it seemed to go over that way somewhere but I'm not quite sure so it's it's gonna be around somewhere it's just um, I yeah we, we, we've got no idea where basically at the moment. So let's start that one up, grab the fuel can and we can race back up over here. I think most of this stuff is full anyway so we don't need to worry about these. Put you down there you're running. So we have water running into the wavetable. I can start the wavetable. I think. I don't know if that started it or not. Right. What do we do first? Do we do one of the full buckets or do I do one of these part buckets first? What's that one in there? That's one of the little bits. So we'll do one of the little tailing buckets first. So I'm going to do both of those. Um, bring you. Oh, that's because I pressed stop. It'd help if I press start, wouldn't it? So let's bring that one over here and... We tip you into the tailings, and we'll see what we get. So I'll drop that one down there. Magnetite separator has finished processing. So we've got 2 and 22%. So it'll be 2% of magnetite in here. So I'm going to take this to the magnetite trailer, and we'll see if it will allow us to tip it in, and what it's going to do to the total percentage that's currently in there. Oh, it's, oh, it's now reading 0%. So maybe it's actually altered it back round. So still reading 0%. Uh, okay. I hope that I picked up the... I did pick up the right one. I definitely picked up the right one because you could see the colour in the other one. And you could also see by the numbers on the one that I picked up. So I'll put that back under there and I'll grab the other small part bucket, which is this one, I think. Nope, it's not that one. It's this one in here. Uh, yes, that's the one. I bring that one over here and I put that in. Is it still going to say 0% on the magnetite trailer after I've done with these? So I'm going to want two fresh buckets now. I'm going to take that gold bucket out and I'm going to put that one down there. That's the two tailings ones. This has only got 2% in the magnetite bucket, so actually I'll leave that in there. I'll put that there. So we want the first of the wash buckets. Now we've got two mats washed out into each of these. So what is that going to ultimately give us in that one up there? I mean, is it going to go more than 100%? I'm going to be ready to switch this thing off just in case it does go past. And uh, If it goes beyond 95%, I'll stop. I'm really hoping that's that's only like 50%. That's, that's poor. That's very, very poor. Um... I'm really hoping that that means that we do actually have a little bit more gold in there than we would normally have achieved. Because 50% is really, really low. It's still saying it's running. I suspect it's actually stopped running now. you just got to stop the machine. If I do that, yes, it says it's um, finished processing. So if I remove that gold bucket from under there, 
and I'll put that one over there with that one and then I'll get another empty one and we'll put back under here the magnetite didn't change that stayed at 2% so we'll switch him on again and we'll get the second bucket if it's, I mean, if it does the same again, we just got, kind of got to hope that the percentage, even though it's saying that it's 50% gold, it could be that there was a lot of gold ore in the um, the bits that we got out of there. So that we might be in luck with this. We'll wait and see. We'll withhold judgment until after everything is finished, and then we can see. Um, it's, it's when you dump it all into the wave table that you really start to find out. So that's at 42 I don't think that one's even going to reach 50% on that one. But, I mean, all the mats were the same. They were all at 100%. Well, maybe it will reach 50%. Yeah, it looks like it stopped at 49 Oh, no, it's now just gone to 50 So you you can leave it running for quite a while before it eventually finishes. So I'm going to keep that going just a little bit longer. Um, just take a look around here. Admire. We've got a whole load of dirt and stuff in here that we can start washing out fairly soon. I'm not ready to wash it yet. Right, that's still saying 50%. So I'm going to switch that one off now. And now that I've switched it off, it comes up with the thing to say that it's finished. So if I take that gold bucket and I drop that one down there. So those two there are from the mats and that one is from the tailings. So we'll do the tailings first and then we'll do the other one. Uh, the other ones. And start. Stop. Has finished processing the pay dirt. Well, there wasn't any pay dirt in there. At least I hope there wasn't because otherwise I've just thrown it on the floor. Uh, start. Start. What's it doing now? It's saying it's still 2%. So there's no magnetite has come through on this wash plant. We've got a little tiny bit from the tailings buckets, but we haven't had anything else giving us magnetite. There's, there's been none come through. So this is probably going to go all the way through to 50% again, which is going to take a little while. And then when that has finished processing, we're good to go. So I'm just going to go and check over here, make sure that everything is ready and waiting on this side. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, I need to put two buckets under. So uh, those are water buckets. I don't want those. I'm going to get a couple of empty buckets and chuck those down there so that we can put them under. And then we've got some water buckets ready and waiting to fill up later on. So if I go like that, uh, might have not quite reached where I wanted it to reach. So I'm going to... This one I'm going to jump right over myself. Come on down through. I can put one under there. And where did that bucket go? He's up here. I might be able to reach it. Can I re yes, I can reach it. And I can pull it down through. Excellent. And there we go. I'd like to know what this is for. What that, whether they've got what they've got planned for that. I'd be interested to know. And also this little bit of framework here, because it doesn't take a sluice box. It doesn't take a sluice or a sluice box or anything like that. So I don't really know what it's for yet. It's one thing that we haven't found out. And how are we doing up here? This has now reached the 50%. That seems to be the crucial point. If I switch it off, I'm guessing it's going to say finished. Yes. Right, let's take out the gold from under there. I've got another 2% of... Actually, I want to put that one just there. Another 2% magnetite in here. So I'm going to run this over to the magnetite trailer again and see what that does. Because a full bucket does 10% on the trailer. So I suppose, actually, if a full bucket is 10%, 10% of a bucket is going to be 1%. Um, and we've not even had that yet. So there's only a tiny, tiny little bit, which is why it was 2 times... So yeah, it was 4% of a bucket which is why it's not showing up we need another two percent in order for it to get in there um i'm hoping that the dirt that was in there has now just decided to vanish from the game and it's not going to cause us any problems um right we don't need to worry about those i just want to switch power over onto there i'll turn that one on and then i want the hose pipe from here and i want to bring it around and put it on there and then i want to turn the hose pipe on Right, so now we've got the wavetable. So we've got the three there, which are all at 50%. And then we've got that one there, which was from the tailing. So let's put this in. We're at 13.6 ounces of gold, just over. And whoosh. Whoa. Okay, that was 33. That, that's 20. That's a good, like, 26 ounces of gold that we've had run through that. I mean... Actually, that's more now. We were on 13, and we're now 38. So, um, oh, 25 ounces of gold. 25 ounces of gold just from the tailings bucket. So now let's see what the next one is. This is a 50% bucket um, that was on 38.8. And this is the mosses themselves. There's a lot less in there. That is a lot less impressive. That was only like 2 ounces of gold. 2 ounces of gold. So it's 1 ounce from each of those two mosses. 
We do the next mosses. 40.8, 40.9. So the tailings seem to have more gold than anything else. Because these have got like one and a half, maybe that, if that. This, this I mean, this, quite frankly, this is a pathetic amount of gold that we're getting from... Not from the tailings, but from the actual mosses themselves have given an utterly disappointing and pathetic amount of gold. Whereas the tailings buckets, the ones from the bottom, those are the ones that really hit the pay dirt. That was, that's what really gave us the pay dirt. But we got 40... Uh, we start with 13. We've now got 43. So we had 30 ounces of gold in total. That's not bad. I mean, 30 ounces of gold isn't bad. I mean, we, there is, obviously there's room for improvement. We could have done better than that, but... 30 ounces in total isn't bad. I think next time we will try and wash the... Um, we'll try and wash more mosses in the thing. Um, yeah, we, we'll try. We'll probably try for a double run of the mosses rather than doing anything else. I think that's, that's, that's how we're going to do it, I think. So let me just grab that hose there and put it back on a minute. Coil cable. I want to put that one back on there. This here is all ready to go. And that's all ready to go as well. All I need to do is plug those in. And that will be ready to go. I'm not actually going to start this one up just yet. I'm going to leave that one off. I'll leave the pumps going. I don't really mind about those. It's only a tiny little bit of fuel. We're going to head into town because I want to... I mean, we've got 43 ounces of gold. I want to get into town and I want to sell some of this gold. And I'd like to see about um well i want to see how much we're going to get i mean uh, 1200 we're going to get 40 um plus uh, 0.2 times 4 is um what is that it's like 8000 so 48000 um yeah we, we're just over 50000 and we've got 17000 at the moment so we do have enough to get the bulldozer i'm still not going to though what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to get a whole load of um, hog pans, and we're going to run those out to two rivers, not two rivers, I keep saying two rivers, um, it's not two rivers, we're going to take those out to Rivertown, and when we get out to Rivertown, we'll um, stick those on a shelf out there, so that they're out the way, I don't want, the reason I'm doing that, and not back here at Old Arnold, is because I don't want to run the risk of um, too many items, or too many workers being here on this claim, because they might just cause us a bit of an issue later on, so just in case it's going to cause us an issue, I'm not going to do it um, this time. We'll, we'll move it out there. And I reckon it, I'm going to try to get as many as I can. I'm going to squeeze as many as I can into this pickup and run it out. I'm not using the trailer because it's quite a long journey and the trailer you can catapult items out of the trailer whereas the pickup it locks them all in place. So we'll do whatever we can carry in the pickup and we'll do one trip. We'll run them all out there. Then we can start hiring a load more workers and then the next round of gold that's what we're going to use to buy the bulldozer. That's my plan. That's, that's kind of the long-term-ish plan. I'm thinking it will go for two lots of moss this time rather than just one lot. So it's going to... Um, we should have a load more. We can do two two lots of rinsings on the moss and then the actual tailings buckets from underneath the machine itself. Those, um, we should just be able to leave them in there and they should fill up. So we get even more out of those tailings buckets. If... I mean, those were like 17% and we had 30-odd... or no, 25 ounces of gold out of those two. So if they were both filled right up to the very brim, I mean, that was like 25, so, tw yeah. You were, I mean, we were kind of almost, we were almost looking at um, 1% per 1 ounce of gold. So we could get 200 ounces of gold if we were able to fill those buckets right up, which, I mean, I don't know if that's actually the case, but it could be, it's, it's very interesting. It is a very interesting little statistic that we've got going on there. This is 39.9 ounces, so 40 ounces. We run this over to the bank now, and then we can get our hog pans. And let's see what we're going to get for it this time. Uh, loan is now 33 instalments left, and balance is $176,000. Gold is $1,240. So the more gold we sell, the higher it seems to get at the moment. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So this 40-ounce bar here is worth $50,000. So we'll sell that one. There we go. That gives us 66,000. So we have got enough to get the bulldozer. But if we do do that, we are not going to have very much left over at all. So we will stick with the hog pan plan. And I will get as many as we can. We'll go hog pan pump rather than hog pan no pump. Because I got a feeling that you get slightly more from those than you do from the hog pan no pump. Because, I mean, it would make sense that you would get more. 
Um, so for that reason, that's why I'm going to do it. That's, that's why I'm going for these, because I'm assuming that the workers are kind of like us in that they could work faster with the um, the pump. So the no pump is $50. That one is $200. I'm going to get as many of these as I can fit in here at the moment, uh, which is ooh, 11. I don't know if I can even fit 11 of those. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I really don't know if I can fit 11 of these into the pickup. But I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my absolute best to fit 11 hog pans. Hog pa yeah, hog pans into here. So let's see. If I chuck that first one in, you know, I might actually be able to do this. I might just be able to do this. I do have to sort of lob them in quite a bit, and it's not pretty. Actually, I don't think I am going to be able to do this. I don't think these are going to fit at all. I think we are um, overstretching it a little bit. I mean, I'd like to, I mean, 10 would have been ideal if I, if I could have gotten a full 10 in there. And I've gone... I've gone, I've gone full crazy. That's what I've done. I've, I've ended up going full crazy, and I've decided to go for even more than ten. So let me just close that up. Yeah, see, see what I mean. If I lift that one out of the way, is that going to help? It is going to help a little bit. Try and stack them up one on top of the other, because once you get into the pickup, it kind of locks them in place. Uh, oh, I've pulled another one out now. I'm, I'm going I'm going backwards. I'm unloading them rather than loading them up. This isn't helpful. Uh, let's drag that one back there. Hopefully that will lock in on that side. If I try and squeeze some in from this way, there's one there. That's, that's sort of squeezed in. And we get another one here and loaded in. I'll try and get it into that back corner there. Is that going to fit? Ooh. It's getting to the point where we're going to have a dancing pickup. If it starts to dance too much... Um, we could be looking at some serious issues. So let me try jumping up and do it. I've, I've done something, whether I've just knocked them out the other side or whether they are in... Oh, no, I did. I'd knock one out the other side. That's how it's worked. Um, let's try putting that one up there. Nope, that's going to fall out the back. Um, try and stand up on top of them and do it. Ooh, he's balanced. He's balanced. I've got one more. If I can get this last one in, hopefully... When you actually start, when I actually start driving, it's just going to lock them in place. So I'm hoping that it will sort of be all right once I get going. There we go. <laughs> they're all up. They're all on there, piled high. Um, and it looks like they've now locked in position. So we've got a great big stack of hog pans all piled up on top of this thing. I wonder if this is actually going to work. You know, I think I think this is actually going to work. This is phenomenal. <laughs> Oh, that is brilliant. Okay, so we've got 11 hog pans all piled high on top of this pickup, and we need to start heading out to Rivertown. Um, yeah, this, this, I'm, I'm gonna go reasonably steady with this. Hopefully this will work. I will meet you out at Rivertown, I think, and we can get these unloaded and into the shed, and we can see if we can get any employees working on them and thus increasing our quantity of money even further than what it is now. I'm almost at Rivertown. We're just coming past the campsite, and it's just up round this corner is the actual entrance to the place, and then we've got to sort of get in through the um, all of the rocks and everything. I really am glad that they've done this fix with the pickup, because if they hadn't done this fix with the pickup, we, it, you know, this probably would have bounced us and catapulted the thing off the map. It's... Um, when you get in, as soon as you sit inside the vehicle, anything that is on top of the pickup will lock in place and it won't move until you get out again. So chances are, if we park on a slope once we get over here, uh, all of those hog pans will fall off. They'll just roll off and go cascading all the way around. Um, which is something that we're going to find out. I'm going to go and park on a bit of a slope when we get over there and see if as soon as I leap out of the vehicle, they do actually do what I think they're going to and just roll off and start sort of rolling down the hill and so on and so forth. Um, and we've only just got to get through this little bit here. And here we go. We're back to Rivertown. It's been a little while. There's nothing over here anymore. We had everything transported away from here and moved to our new location. So it's, it's looking a little bit barren and empty. I mean, we do have the big trailer. I got a load of buckets down here. I got spare parts. I got all kinds of things sort of lined up in sheds, but I don't actually need to use any of them at the moment. So let me just stop there. I think that's that's going to be a good spot to do this, this little um, test. Let me jump out and have they... No, they haven't actually fallen off yet. Maybe if I undo the back, it's going to sort of move some of them. Ah. 
not move them very much but they are starting to move so i've got a whole load of hog pans here i'm going to start unloading these and then we can sleep the night and then after we've done that then we will come back and we will see if we have anybody that wants to come and work for us i might take some of this stuff with me to go back over to old arnold because obviously we, we're sort of staying in old arnold for quite a while now and we may be glad of the odd extra cable or um i mean maybe these mesh grills I'm not quite sure about that, actually. And we've got some um, cables there. We've got some spare mosses. We've got some more pipes. We don't actually seem to need any of those items. We, I mean, there's this, we've got spare parts over here, but I, again, I don't really need those either. This light that we've got on our headlamp is, is rather poor, isn't it? We get that one. I'll just finish unloading these, and I'll get a bit of sleep, and then we can see who we're going to be able to employ in the morning and whether or not this actually works. We could end up finding that all of this was for nothing and we're not able to get any extra employees at all. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody wants to work for us yet again. We get a lot of people that want to come and work for us. So let's see if this mad plan of ours has paid off. Are we going to be able to employ all of the extra people with 11 extra hog pan pumps? So we want to go to workers and... At the moment, we have got two unassigned workers over here, and I'm not quite sure why we've got two unassigned workers. I thought we had all kinds of assigned workers. So we've got Hogpan Pump, and I will assign you to a Hogpan Pump, and then I'll go Rivertown, Hogpan Pump, and I will assign. So in theory, we should be able to employ all of these extra guys as well. So let's take in... I don't know if I want all of them, actually. If I go over to you, um, we'll go up through 30, that's 55, that guy, 65%, there's, uh, there's another 64% there. We're, I'm not going to worry about those at the moment, I'm just going to keep doing this and um, going through and assigning. I don't think there's anything at Old Arnold. Actually, yes, there's two at Old Arnold. Maybe that's what we've um, encountered at Old Arnold, is that they've actually unassigned from the ones that they were previously using. Uh, if that's the case, does that mean that we're going to have to reassign each of these e every time? I really hope not, because that's that's going to be a little bit cumbersome having to do that every time. But, I mean, it, it is working while we're doing it. Um, and well, if we do this at the beginning of the next episode, we're just about out of time for today. So if we do this at the beginning of the next episode, if, if this is what we got to do, then um, maybe that will be sort of in... Nope, nope, I didn't actually mean to do that. Let me go that way there so that we can assign this guy we want to go river town and we want to go hog pound pump assign right so i got all of these working here now i'm going to go back to awaiting and i'm going to hire both of these two here go into the hired and we keep running through so we got loads of them working hog pound pumps look at them <laughs> loads of them um river town he's another 65 percenter that's quite actually that's that's quite impressive really 65 percent 67 percent that's even better Another hog pound pump there. Right, so we got 21 people working for us at the moment. Go back over there. 65%, yeah. 21 people working for us. <laughs> Look at the gold coming in now. Oh, that is fantastic. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That is it's just pouring in. It, literally, the money is just going to be pouring in. So this is going to help us. It's certainly it's not going to be the, like the ultimate cure-all, but it is going to help us on our way. Now, I'm pretty sure I already have um, some spare grills over the other side, so I'm not going to worry about those. I'm not actually going to take anything with me. Um, maybe I should take a few buckets, because that I, I do seem to be a little bit limited on buckets. So, actually, we will take... We'll grab a couple... Actually, I'm going to move the pickup up round, and we'll grab a couple of buckets, and then um, we can head back over to the other side, and... In tomorrow's episode, we are going to be filling up our mats again. And this time, we're going to try and do it twice. Now, it does take a little while to fill them up. Um, if you don't like lots of digging, then tomorrow's episode is probably not going to be your favourite episode because I'm planning to dig from beginning to end. I'm going to... Um, everything is all set up over there, ready to go. So I've literally just got to start up the engines and um, start loading up the pickup and the rock truck and the excavator and all the rest of it as quickly as possible. Uh, so that's cut. that is the plan for tomorrow. So I'm taking a few extra buckets with me because um, I'll be glad of these if I'm going to be uh, doing all of those mosses. We can do at least three mosses in each 
bucket and I think we can actually do four mosses in one bucket but it doesn't look like you get a great deal of gold from the mosses it looks like the bulk of the gold doesn't actually get picked up by those the bulk of the gold gets washed down through into the um, the tailings buckets underneath uh, the ones that go underneath the duplex jig that's where that's where you seem to get the majority of the actual gold so I am going to head back to Old Arnold and I will meet you there in tomorrow's episode. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.